Hello and welcome to one of mine, Doom Knight Attack Attack Player from Inscription Casey's Mod. So the last run I uh, did a major oopsie and did a major misplay and ended the run early. So let's try this again shall we, bring in the usual three things I brought last time. And uh, let's try not to make a fool of myself this time by changing the totems and completely destroying my uh, unbreakable strategy that I had. Oh, that was so annoying. <laughs> Right, well maybe we'll get some good starting cards here. Are your pelts clean? Mm. The Warren. Grizzly. Mm. This one can be good if I have a lot of cards in my hand, which I don't always have. We learnt that the Roran could also be quite powerful, given the chance. I think let's take... Yeah, we'll take these two. Bit of an odd combination to start with. You have my gratitude. We'll see how it goes. Um, I think campfire for now. We don't really need residual stuff yet. See health. See so what we did before, let's put it on the wall. I'm not gonna risk it because once again, too early. You'll we'll see an elite battle up there. Alright, coyote and the porcupine, the usual threat. Right, so if I play you there, then I can play like that, then I'm defended this turn. There you go. And now I can place the stout and kill the coyote. And then let's bring out the wolf. Let's take care of the porcupine. There we go. Again, we're not looking to try and get as many tea foes as we can because they're more pricey. But yeah, if we can get teeth then. That's good. Right, ringworm. Got the ringworm relatively early last time. Oh, the cat. Not seen him at all. The undying cat. Sacrificing the poor beast does not kill it. I think this, or this sigil, put it on like the stout maybe. Yeah, let's do that now. Uh, the cat. Coyote. No, stout, not coyote. There you go, so we can play the stout, which we often get first thing. And then we can just sacrifice him for free. Yeah, see, there you go. Hmm. Okay, well, ideally we want to start somewhere where we won't get killed off right away. And I'll play this for now. So whatever I put there will probably die by the uh, coyote if I try anything else. Right, so you there. There we go. And I guess I could just place you there just because you ain't got to do anything until I have cards in my hand though. Guess a screw. Right, let's put you there. Pouring it up. And then rabbit. 
I think we won anyway, yeah, we won anyway, so it's not that. Come on, give me a, uh, a ring whip right there, next to a campfire. Ah. Skunk could be good on site like Strange Lava. Mm. Yeah, let's get that for future sigil use. There's a sigil thing up there. What hell? Interesting. Let's put it on the stout this time. That way he stays on the board longer as a uh, unlimited sacrifice supply. I feel like in the base game you could keep going with the um, additional buffs as well. That you didn't just end after one additional buff. Maybe that's to stop your cards becoming too powerful in this mode. Two sparrows, okay. Uh, yep. Yeah. Go there. I'm going to place you there just so that that sparrow becomes useless. Uh, yeah, bullfrog there. And I'll just place you, place you there. This is a slow bow. Right, okay, well if I face you down. There you go. I think I've won this now. Is he gonna Oh he's not conceding, okay. Interesting. Really? I thought you would have given up by now. <laughs> I mean, I would have accepted this surrender anyway, but, you know, just saying. They really want me to get the beaver car, don't they? Yeah, let's, let's go grab, let's give him a go. I could make a totem now, or I could do sigil stuff there. Let's get a totem going. Not a particular thing I wanted. Uh, Um, what serpents or reptiles do I have? I think it's just the bullfrog. I can think of it off my head anyway. Mm. Go over this for now. Yep, the recovery appeared. Air defense, that is good. Put that on my beasts. Also bees. Hmm. I think air defense actually. I mean at the moment it's useless because I think the only reptile I have is the bullfrog which does that anyway. But if I get like a beast head, that would be really good. Right, so this wasn't too bad last time when the Prospector in the first map. Hee 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 the Prospector! 
Yeah, because you sent out the coyote. Oh, I don't have my um, stout out though. Right, let's spring out. There we go. Still going to hold off. Yeah, because I'm going to win this round now, and then he's going to change all my things to gold, so I need to do this. There's gold in them cards. Gold! I've struck gold! Right, okay. Ah, there's the stout. Okay, so. Mm. I mean, I could bring out the beaver just because. <laughs> Get him! Place you down there. That's just to take the damage. Hmm. That could work. There we go. There, the mule got him. My mule, curse you! Go oh, goodbye, beaver. Right, well then. Damn. Well, <laughs> that technical card saw some real power just before the match ended. <laughs> Need a light? Perhaps one of these will entice you. Mm, I was kind of hoping for Strange Lava for the Skunk card. Mm, let's bring out Mole Man. Get some defense in there. Oh, we got Swamp or Frost. Got Frost. Oh, and a trial immediately. The beauty of the falling snow could not distract you from the chill in your bones. Your body quaked in a futile attempt to maintain warmth. You had finally reached the snow line. Ooh, what trials you got for you? It was kind of close last time. Four power, two kin, three sigils, power. Even though this could be... Oh! Yeah, yeah, okay, good. <laughs> that damn skunk almost destroyed it for me. Wait a minute. Okay, for a second I thought that was the one that duplicated the card. I say like, what all magpies plus uh, rabbit has the magpie sigils? That'd just been weird. Uh, skink that finds items and evolves. Would that mean that its tail also evolves? Oh, this is a good wolf though. I think it has to be the skink though, because I like the idea of a low cost item find card. Even though that was a good wolf. Uh, not yet to, to use items yet. I do have an empty space still for it. Let me. I've got to go campfire for now, though. Oh, power this time. I 
More men could do with power in theory. Because he'd move it across the board in front of enemies and then he'll be able to attack back. Or the stout to keep him going a bit more. Let's go to Mole Man. I know he's mostly defensive, but it'd be interesting to see him attack back. Uh, do I... do I risk it? I wish I knew what the actual odds of this eating my card were. Uh... You know what? Or... <laughs> I've got this... Ugh... Oh, hmm... Damn it. That's why I never do it. All those people that keep telling me to do it, that is why I never do it. Thanks for the bones. <laughs> Poor mole man. Raven egg, okay. Uh, Yeah, okay. Yeah. Sure, yes, keep going. I mean, I've won this now. <laughs> yep, there you go. Don't think I need duplicates to make use of that mushroom. Let's give the wild boar a go, why not? Uh, I'm gonna go count I don't think I have any duplicates, like I said. Alright, offering help this time. Let's get to the wild boar. Not take any more chances though. Unless it's the wing ringworm card, or there's no uh, people there. Or oh, they've got their own wild ball. Mm. And just a random rabbit. Yikes, I've not got any. Uh, mm. Well, actually, this is okay, because if I place the skunk down, you won't kill the skunk yet. Right, so then... There you go. Uh, yep, keep going. <laughs> And let's just finish him off. Nice. Right, let's try another trial. Right, three sigils, four blood, four power. This, hmm. Both of these could be quite good because I've not got any bone cards yet. Let's go power. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Overkilled. Right, what we got? Wolf Cub. Bell Technical, interesting. And the 
uh, card hand technical, whatever you want to call that one. It also builds dam and pushes cards. Interesting. Or wolf cup that has the fine situation and is made of stone, so it can't be poison killed. What is it? It's poison killed and stinky. Yeah. Take that one. <laughs> that seems like the uh, the obvious choice there. I'll get a pack crap if I do this. Or. Let's go and duplicate a card. Tiresome goo. Oh, pain! Just like the master! Right, I can either get another really good wolf cub or the really good skink. Or another undying stout. Ooh, which one? I feel like the wolf cub's a safe bit because you can't get any worse than one on one. The skin can only get like a little bit worse. Whereas the stout can be like much worse. But the sigil's good. And more chances of getting one of those out and start is really good as well. Hmm. I think maybe mm, thing is if I do one of these though it's more like a draw one of these with the fine switch so I can just find the stout I guess let's go with the skink Bruh. I'll give it a try I still want to know how you're painting. Yeah, like I said, you know, you go down like one. That's fine though. Because he does still have the safeguard of uh, removing his tail. This combination again, interesting. Okay, so let's go stout there, bullfrog there. you there because yeah that'll kill the wild boar uh no just keep the cards in my hand for the tentacle place you down and let's grab I uh, guess the big boy wolf and let's go with this yep right I don't think I have any pelts do I let's see what I can offer you for those pelts you have none do you understand how disappointing that is? I must give you this. Oh wow. Use that to buy some pelts. Do not return empty handed again. Okay, I mean, I had no choice to, but to uh, go there. Uh, ooh. Get a pack rat. Try and get a better totem thing going. Or campfire. Let's try to change up my totem, I think. 
Uh, yep, the decrepit woodcarver. Stinky. That would work for my skinks. Putting stinky on them. Yeah, let's go with stinky. Just gotta remember that's on the skinks and the bullfrog. Right, okay, speaking of stinky. Hmm. Yeah, let's put stinky on something. Now you're gonna be stinky only because of the sigil. Maybe the wild bull would make him even harder to kill as he moves around the board, I guess. Or oh, the wolf. Hmm. I think probably wild bull, because he'll get himself into danger a lot more than the wolf would in theory, because he moves around into enemy spaces. Let's put it on him. That's quite a menacing glow in his eye there. Alright, Trader Trapper. Sorry for uh, not having any pelts when I came to you last, but, you know, it's all good, right? Don't have any, like, ill intentions against me or anything. Nah, I think they want to kill me. <laughs> the Trapper stood before you. Out of habit, you reach for your collection of teeth. The man grimaced and shook his head. A exquisite pelt, you should make. Right, okay. Now, I died to you last time, buddy, because I made a super misplay. Let's try not to do that again. Right, so... Hmm. Yeah, let's put you there. Rabbit. There you go. <laughs> what was that called? Elder Skink. <laughs> Elder Skink. Nice. Uh, yeah, screw off. spot. Okay, getting a bunch of pelts, that's good. Um, I think we're still good for now, to be honest. That's good. Yeah, you can. Yeah, let's keep going. Right, wolf cup. Yeah, 
bring up the actual wolf. Uh, let's bring out Squirrel. And I'll place you there. Should win this, and we've got quite a few pelts as well. The skinny knife turns. I think we can, with the amount of pelts we've got, remove just his whole front row and just kill him. Let's trade. I hope you brought pelts, because these creatures are prepared to rip your throat out. Trade what you can. Yep. Yeah. yeah, so if I just remove all of these, I can just win this, surely. Strange choices. Right, what's the most damaging thing here? Nothing in particular. Well, there we go. That's that. <laughs> you will not perish quite yet. And use one item so far as well. Perhaps one of these will entice you. Ah, uh, strange lava. Oh, I'll take it. But I saved a stinky for that. Hmm. Oh, yes, I know. Oh, another trial. A hideous swarm of insects gathered around you. Reptiles slipped and slivered around your feet. You are now engulfed by the wetlands. So I can get a potentially good card and refill my one item that I'm missing. Or just get a general card and do a sigil. I don't know if I have anything in particular that I want to sigil up though with my... Uh, or, or my strange lava. Wait a minute, I've got... No, reptile. No, not... I thought I had the insect things so strange lava would get stinky, but it's not that. Um, I think maybe this one. I'll be not making much use out of this space, I feel like, but getting a really good card seems like a good call. Assuming I get the card, obviously. I might fail the trial. Four blood, five bones, not definitely that one. Uh, power. Power, let's go. Yes, okay. Hate it when it starts off with a weak card. That seems just bad. Like, unless you could put power on this, this just counters everything that this beehive card stands for. I think the river snapper maybe mm. yeah because it would take a long time to kill him in theory and they'll be taking damage back as it happens and when he does eventually die I'll get bones. Not that I have any bone cards I don't think. I've got enough cards that do this at this point as well. And this, with this sigil, just kind of is all over the place. Let's grab the spiky river snapper. Right, well, this is where I'm going to end this episode here. Maybe this time we can actually beat challenge rank 2. I don't know, I've got some good cards going and I think the title I've got is decent-ish at the moment. But uh, we'll see. I can't remember if the stink the stinks? The skinks had stink on them already I might be wasting the totem in theory if they already have it on them because I noticed that when they were played they had the one of the upgraded sigils missing from their card so I might have forgotten that they already have stink on them but anyway I hope you enjoyed this video if you did have a like and a comment if you haven't already one that slap subscribe button it's totally free and helps the channel grow thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video have a nice day